Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about fifth problem from bank reconciliation statement topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about bank reconciliation statement topic. So on BRS topic for degree students, I made some videos. In first video, I explained the concept of BRS. So that video link I'm giving in the description box and I'm leaving in the I cards. So I request you to watch that video first because to understand the present problem, knowing the basics of BRS is very important. Let us see the question. This is fifth problem. As per cash book, the bank account of Harshini is showing an overdraft balance of 5,000 rupees. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement taking into the following items. Here, firm's owner's name is Harshini. So, in her cash book, bank balance is 5000. Bank balance is of two types now. Favorable bank balance and overdraft bank balance. This is overdraft bank balance. So in fourth problem also he has given overdraft bank balance. So in fourth problem clearly explain what is bank overdraft balance. So fourth problem link I'm giving in the description box and the overdraft bank balance as per cash book is given in the question now. So with that we should start the problem. Heading is bank reconciliation statement of Harshini as on 31st March 2016. In this sentence he is not giving the date but Observe this first point here. He has given the date now. This is BRS preparation date. Overdraft bank balance as per cash book in outer column 5000 rupees. Now remaining are what? Reasons for disagreement. So some reasons we should add to that amount. Some reasons we have to subtract from that amount. So as I explained in fourth problem here also, even though overdraft bank balance as per cash book is given, our assumption is favorable bank balance as per passbook is given. Means passbook should be adjusted as per cash book. So by following this rule, we will do this problem. While doing the problem, I did one mistake. That is directly from second point I started. So second and the third I explained. These two points I wrote there. So after third point, I noticed that first point was not explained. So now I am explaining. Okay. See the first one. Checks issued but not presented for payment till 31st March 2016, 12,000 rupees. So here checks issued means firm has to pay 12,000 rupees to one supplier. So instead of giving in cash, firm has given a check to them. Our assumption is supplier went to bank, he presented the check and he took the money. So bank balance decreased. With us cash book is there. Decrease means in cash book credit side now. 12,000 rupees we have credited in cash book. When bank people record that in passbook, when that supplier really goes to bank and takes the money then only. But what happens see? Checks are issued but not presented for payment. So supplier has not went to bank and he has not collected the money up to 31st March 2016. So up to this date, no decrease as per passbook. Our assumption is favorable bank balance as per passbook is given in the question. Then rule is adjust passbook as per cash book. As per cash book, bank balance is decreased by 12,000. In passbook, we should also decrease by 12,000. So final answer is 12,000 decrease in passbook. Answer came as decrease, means we have to subtract. First point, sentence is checks issued but not presented for payment. Amount in inner column, 12,000 rupees. Now come to Second and third points, these two points explanation. See the second one. Checks deposited but not collected by the bank till 31st March 2016, 20,000 rupees. So customer has to pay 20,000 rupees to the firm. 
instead of giving money he gave a check to us so instead of going to customers bank firm deposits this check in their bank now our assumption is our banker collected money from customers bank it is deposited in our account so our bank balance is increased by 20000 rupees firm prepares cash book now in cash book increase means debit side firm debited 20000 rupees in cash book in passbook we said it should be recorded on credit side when they record if really they collect the money then only but what happens see till 31st march 2016 they have not collected that amount after that date what happened you need not to consider because brs we are preparing on 31st march 2016 only now so till that date money was not collected by the banker means as per passbook bank balance is constant so we are assuming that favorable bank balance as per passbook is given in that case what is the rule adjust passbook as per cash book as per cash book 20000 is increased in passbook we should also increase 20000 rupees this is our final answer increase means plus here under additions first point sentence is checks are deposited but not collected 20000 in outer column addition amounts in outer column we should write subtraction amounts in inner column come to next point third one interest on term loan 10000 rupees debited by bank on 31st march 2016 but not accounted to her books here her books means harshini's books so harshini is maintaining cash book no in cash book it is not recorded interest on term loan means harshini has taken loan from bank on that interest who should pay to whom harshini should pay to bank so from our account bank deducted that amount so our assumption is favorable bank balance is given so from favorable bank balance if they deduct interest our favorable bank balance decreases no means in passbook we said it appears decrease as per passbook means debit side so bank debited 10000 rupees towards interest 10000 is debited in passbook but till that date we have not recorded that in cash book so as per cash book no decrease our rule is passbook should be adjusted as per cash book as per cash book bank balance is constant here also we need constant so what to do decreased amount we should cancel how to cancel by increasing increase in passbook means credit side no 10000 if you credit in passbook then this increased amount decreased amount both will get cancelled and as per passbook also balance becomes constant now final answer is 10000 increase sentence interest on term loan debited in passbook only 10000 in outer column next point fourth one bank charges 250 was debited by the bank during march 2016 but accounted in her books on 4th april 2016 so bank charges 250 rupees bank is providing so many services to our firm so they are not at free of cost time to time they collect charges for these services from our account they did it our assumption is favorable bank balance is given in the question so when they deduct 250 rupees from our account our bank balance decreases no and the first of who knows about this bank people because they are only collecting this amount so they are maintaining passbook decrease in passbook means debit 250 is debited in passbook and we recorded that in cash book but when after that date on 4th april 2016 so on that date we are preparing brs no therefore up to 31st march 2016 it is recorded or not that only we should observe it is not recorded in cash book so as per cash book bank balance is not decreased now rule is passbook should be adjusted as per cash book no as per cash book bank balance is constant here also we need constant 
So decrease the amount if you cancel means if you increase then as per passbook also balance becomes constant. Final answer is increase to 15 passbook. So additions. Third point sentence is bank charges debited in passbook only. In outer column 250 rupees. Now the last point is an amount of 1 lakh rupees representing collection of a sheriff's cheque was wrongly credited into the account of Harshini by the bank. Our banker is having sheriff's cheque. Cheque amount is 1 lakh rupees. So in favor of sheriff, they collected that amount. They should deposit that amount in sheriff's account now. But in whose account they deposited that money? In Harshini's account. So here important point is in whose books we are preparing this BRS. Not in Sharas books, in Harshini's books. In Harshini's current account, bank deposited 1 lakh rupees. So after this deposit, bank balance increases by 1 lakh rupees now. Means banker credited 1 lakh rupees in passbook. So immediately you may think that banker did one mistake. We have to rectify that mistake. That is not the part of BRS lesson. So it comes under rectification of errors lesson. BRS purpose in fourth problem clearly explained. Even in first video also. So for degree students I made BRS concept video. No? In that video also explain. Our purpose is as per cash book bank balance we know. So as per passbook bank balance is given to us. So whatever happens in cash book like that only we should do in passbook. Then only as per passbook also, we will get balance as per cash book. So what happened here, that we should do in passbook. That is only our topic. So as per passbook, 1 lakh is increased. And this is mistake, no? Same mistake we don't do in our cash book. Means as per cash book, we are not increased anything. So here, Passbook should be adjusted as per cash book. This rule we are following. As per cash book, bank balance is constant. But here we increase with 1 lakh. This 1 lakh we should cancel now. How to cancel? If you decrease that 1 lakh, then both will get cancelled. So finally, this is our answer. 1 lakh should be decreased. Sentence. What happened here once you observe? Check amount. Wrongly, they credited in our passbook. That meaning should come. So, wrong credit given in the passbook. Amount in inner column, 1 lakh rupees. So, everything is completed. Finally, we have to find the totals. These amounts total is 35,250. And these two amounts total is 1 lakh 12,000 rupees. First time a new point came. That is, this amount is higher than this amount. In previous problems, this amount used to be higher than this problem. So how to do this? From 1 lakh 12,000, 35,250 we should subtract. Then 76,750 comes. And for answer what to write? In question, he has given overdraft bank balance. Suppose answer is a plus value. Means this amount is higher than this amount then plus value comes if answer is a plus value then here also we can write overdraft word so answer becomes overdraft bank balance as per passbook but answer came in minus no so you need not to write minus symbol here when answer comes in minus then this balance we should change as overdraft bank balance is given in the question Instead of writing overdraft bank balance, we should write favorable bank balance. Suppose in question favorable bank balance is given. When answer comes in minus value, here we should write overdraft word. So as OD is given, I am writing favorable bank balance as per passbook. Because as per cash book he has given no. Here as per passbook we have calculated. So this is the end of present video.
Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.